number four, build trust. Relationship building is one of the most essential elements in establishing good group dynamics. But of course, how you do this, and if you're able to do this, depends heavily upon the size of the group that you have. And it would be very different in a tutorial compared to a lecture. Start by encouraging the sharing of thoughts, ideas, conclusions, and feelings, and provide plenty of opportunity to actively participate. For example, you may ask questions to activate prior knowledge, or link theory to practice. In addition, make sure that students reflect on the group's effectiveness and their own functioning in the group, as well as providing feedback for improvement. To help students to feel like valued and included members of the group, it's important that you appear accessible and approachable. For this reason, we suggest you don't leave it too long before reacting to comments or questions. Consider how you want to give feedback to the group, as it can also come across a bit more direct online. So don't forget to also give praise. You might also want to try providing synchronous social time for students to interact away from formally planned discussions. Online coffee breaks, for example, where students can split into smaller groups without your presence.